What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we have another opening. We did get Paradox Rift a couple of days early. So we're definitely gonna crack one box for ourselves, and uh, we may have some breaks for some patrons coming up, but I'm not too sure. Um, right off the bat, like, I didn't even know what was in this set. I feel like 151 was a lot of fun to open, and definitely on the pricey side, it being a special set and all, and then because like the pull rates were <laughs> never, you never knew if you're gonna get hosed or not. Um, yeah, it was kind of a tough set on the wallet. So I feel like if this set is a little underwhelming, it's not too big of a disappointment uh, coming off of a very strong set. Uh, but here we go. I did take a look on Pokey Beach just to look through the set. There are some cards that are kind of cool. Actually, I think the the alt art swab blue is kind of like the um, the one that I want to get. That's probably not a big chase card, but I thought it was really cute. But then there's some cool stuff. You got Groudon, you got your Veltal. Although I do feel like the alt arts are a little underwhelming. Uh, but here we go into pack number one. And so this is Paradox Rift. I think we're getting to the whole future time travel thing. And maybe it was only a matter of time, but I was never too crazy about that whole thing. Um, I did just finish like the main story of the game, then stop playing. And it was a little weird for me. We got a Swablu to start into a Pumpkaboo, into a Espathra. It looks like some kind of like an Emu kind of thing. All right, so nothing there. And we do got more of these, like the shinies. I don't know. I think that's like the new, uh, like rainbow rare, gold rare thing that I honestly don't care too much for. All right, Pharaoh Seed, definitely looking for those alt arts. Ooh, what are you screen? I feel like there's maybe there's they introduce more Pokemon that I'm just not familiar with. This is looks like a Jigglypuff like dbz fusion with a the hasuan zorark like that tail thing what is this scream tail h okay so there's like the future and i'm guessing the ancient stuff all right maybe there's more to the game that i did not quite get min minior actually i think the alt art was yeah this guy's like a meteor kind of thing a more peko or Corio, the yellow version, into... Oh, okay, we did get a full art supporter. I don't know where this is on the waifu scale, but a Sean Chantel. Uh, flip a coin if it's... It doesn't matter. All right. And I do think that, kind of like with 151, it happened with uh, Erica, where if you do get a full art, that's great, but um, there's often a alt one that is the main prize. Sunring does look, look not perfect. I think this border is slightly thicker. Um, it's pretty close though. Let's put you in a, nah, I don't think it's close enough. Grab a small sleeve for you. But hey, full art supporter, always a good start. You know, I think I'll take any, mostly any supporter over like the uh, EX or something, or like a shiny EX. Maybe not over any, but. Uh, this this guy, he's like a mimic. The alt art is very different art style. So I wouldn't mind him. We got a Jirachi. <laughs> this this Pokemon is actually kind of funny. NACL. Uh, it's like a salt. Then they add a little eye at the end. A Wug Trio. That's the, this new Diglett guy. So we, oh, the, there's one alt art. Ooh, I kind of like this whole feature thing. Of the um, the new tentacle, <laughs> that one looks cool. Iron Hand. So this whole future stuff, they just took like existing Pokemon. Like I guess it's its own Pokemon, but like yeah, it's it's weird. Took Hariyama, made him a little android, and there you got Iron Hand. I mean, I feel like the the naming is not even that that creative. In the future, oh, this is the wrong kind of sleep. Uh, hey, it's a hit. You got Iron Hands, EX. So as far as like the, I don't know, the new era thing, the special thing with the ancient, actually, maybe I'm more excited about the ancient stuff, but the future ones, they're kind of weird. Although that, that Jigglypuff thing was really weird too. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the whole kind of Scarlet and Violet era new sets of Pokemon. For me, it's it's just okay. 
Got a nice little crocodile. Looks like he's got a sombrero or like an egg on his head. A tulip. Ooh, who are you? It's like a, was it wishy, wish cash or something? Um, don, don dozo. Into an onyx. Oh, there was a steelix alt art that was kind of cool. Into a galissapod. So no alt arts just yet. Uh, one just okay hit and one supporter, which I'm happy about. Print quality of the one hit that we looked at was a little off, which is always disappointing. A parasol lady. This looks very... The Abyssal Hand um, card. It, it looks very familiar. Similar to that. Custom Catcher Absol into a Tinka Tink. Into the Big Salt Monolith Gargantu LNSL. <laughs> I'll right, we'll probably pick up the pace. We do got a guard chop in this set with a, a not so nice shiny variant. All right, I think after this, we'll start doing some pack tricks. Pan Sage to a Minim. You got a couple of alt arts with them that are kind of cool when you have, you have both of them. That's nothing crazy. Orthworm, strange Pokemon. Okay. All right, so the EX is. Actually, have they always been doing this uh, with all the EXs where they can kind of like change type when they go whatever, like the Terra or whatever? It's got, I like his hat. Ooh, kind of like a, kind of like a little texture. You can kind of see it. I did, I feel like I did not, was not even aware that that was happening. Um, all right, that's a pretty cool uh, card right there. Curious if there is an alt art of him. I kind of want to open up back up the iron hand see if that was textured as well all right we got a Mewtwo oh, okay so this as long as this Pokemon is banished all damage is over all right so yeah this is the Terra form all right let's see what, what what's going on in the world of Pokemon these days yeah, 151 is a lot of fun. TikTok, yeah, you can get some good deals on TikTok. Is I don't use TikTok at all, but it's like someone tells, oh, you get 20% off a uh, UPC. It's like, all right, I'll do it. It's 80 bucks, can't complain. Uh, definitely, that's going to be a product I imagine will be in print for quite a while. Not too different than the Charizard UPC. And I think that's great. You know, get all the nice promos and stuff. And I can keep cracking 151. 80 bucks to still hit that that five dollar per pack with the sweet promos i like it they did do a another wave of the oh there's no there is no alt art shots to pokemon shots to tie um there is no alt art snorlax doll i wonder if they're going to introduce it later kind of like how they do that thing it's kind of annoying but um ooh, high uh very nice target for a nice alt art right there Ooh, what is this Okay, this oh this must just be a regular, regular rare, and this whole agent thing threw me off. Thought we had something like a hit. Brute bonnet, like they're they're like just they take they take a, a, a Pokemon, then they just like turn it into I'm not sure if pun is the right word, but you know just make some generic observation about it, make it a little more metal futuristic, and call it a day. A Zat two. There's that scream tail again. Very strange. Into a Palkia. Ah, uh, yeah, they did do another wave of the Van Gogh stuff on the website. Shoutouts to uh, Richard Omega. Shoutouts to Ty. Um, gave me a heads up. I missed it again, or I was late to the party. Did manage to get an order in, and so we do have it. A Tinglu. And pour into a Yveltal. The Yveltal, the alt art, I wonder if they're gonna have a better version of it because it's not bad, but even like the Groudon, it felt like the, the Yveltal is like the Radiant Yveltal, just with a different, slightly different, not super impressive background. And then the Groudon, there's like a Groudon EX that I feel like I have like a raw copy of. Um, and it's like the same exact pose, very similar angle. 
Ooh, Iron Moth. Okay, so what is this? Some kind of special... Actually, I feel like there were two Volcaronas. Maybe there's like a future in Ancient? Um, yeah, that definitely looks like a Volcarona into a cyborg form, and then they just put iron <laughs> inside moth. <laughs> just put moth at the end. Uh, so I do feel like it's kind of lazy. Uh, as far as alt arts go, I'll put this in the above average pile. I like it. And, um, yeah, back to like the Yveltal and the Groudon. They look cool. Uh, but I think, ooh, centering, hmm, print quality, at least on this initial wave of the box I have is leaving some to be desired which is always disappointing uh and frustrating when you get like a huge hit again like i can't say there's anything that i'm like dying to pull and that would send instantly to psa or anything uh but still it's always a little frustrating when the print quality is not there but yeah the the groudon yveltal i don't know I, I think i like the alt arts where it's like a whole different picture kind of thing versus just like a different background which is what I get the sense of for, for Yveltal and Groudon. And I also think that more often than not, they do that because they're gonna give you a even better one down the road. So here's the regular version of that Iron Moth. This, this um, yeah, it's, it's cool, I guess. It keeps making me think we have a, a, a better hit than we do. So it's a little confusing me, but uh, I like it. A Joltik. There's an alt art of him too. Looks like he's eating like a blueberry. Into a Cursed Duster. Ooh. Into an Altaria EX. Okay, a hit is a hit. Yeah, I think the the Swablu. Take a look at the Swablu alt art. That one's cute. Although I did kind of remind. Obviously, it's it's not. But uh, there are like some like birds that will like not invade, but like hide in a different bird's nest just to kind of like, you know, take all the food from the birds that are supposed to be there. I think they even call it like a parasite. All right, Vanillish, I believe there's alt art of him too. Porygon, that one's kind of cool. He's like in a space station or something. A Wo Chien, it's like a moss covered snail i think um the whole idea of 151 and it's interesting because like celebrations had like the classic set and it's a better implementation of you know let's have some classic cards classic pokemon where they just had the original 151 and then you go back to these regular sets and yeah there's just for for many reasons many obvious reasons just like less appreciation for all of these Pokemon. Thievil. All right, so I feel like the hit count is pretty good. We're at five, not even halfway through. I'm confident, feeling pretty good. We can get to double digits, which I think is kind of like the new, if you get double digits, that's nothing crazy. Um, and a little bit higher is good. A Chiyu, I'm actually not familiar with you. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. Kind of looks like a uh, Celebi at like a top angle that's on fire. But yeah, I think on like TikTok, um, you know, I did offer patrons like a price that I think is pretty good from like eBay sales and stuff and, and based on like what I pay for them. Uh, but then I think on TikTok, if you get those like 20% coupons, you get for, like 70 something for tax. Chien Po. Is that the one he has like a, is that like an anchor or something special for his uh, fang? All right, halfway through the box, we definitely gonna speed it up from here on out. We got a Gorgeist. Oh, happy, I hope everyone had a fun and safe Halloween. Uh, we did, um, I'll try to remember to attach just to show it, but uh, we did, we do like carve, carve pumpkins every year um, and I usually do a Pokemon one and um, my significant other did the same so we had a, a Charmander and a Bulbasaur I couldn't find like a good Squirtle one a Sandy Shocks so it's a ground type or fighting ground type uh, Magneton 
And I guess this one's a little different, but they again, they just, oh, he's a ground type, so we just add Sandy. He used to be electric, so we just add shocks, and that's how we name these Pokemon these days. Wait, he's an ancient. Okay, he's not a future. That's why it's not like iron, iron magneton. <laughs> or something silly like that. All right, maybe I'm getting too critical of this new stuff, but I mean, they just took existing Pokemon and changed it a little bit. I'm not sure if this is like the Scarlet Violet, like the kind of like um, Suian style, but they're basic. So I'm assuming, I can't remember if they evolve and I think they just come like in that form, in that evolution. So I don't think it's the same as like a different regional like the same Pokemon from a different region. Snow Runt, Vanillite into the Iron Moth again. So starting to get some repeats on that rare slot. Oh, I think another um, another pretty good alt art was the uh, the, the Moto Cycle uh, guy. That's kind of cute. All right, nothing there. I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on. In the Pokemon world. Yeah, 151, I still, still think it's enjoyable to open. Uh, still don't have a Japanese box. I feel like the prices are kind of still going up even after like reprints and stuff. Okay, we do got Iron Juggalus. So this is the um, three headed guy turned metallic. And um, not bad, but I, I do like it when it's like very different and like the Pokemon can be small just to put a nice picture in there. Uh, we got some neon signs, but this one's a little underwhelming. But always happy to pull another alt art. And I feel like we still have that same centering issue. Yeah, this bar is always thicker. Although the back looks pretty good, which is very confusing. We'll put you in a penny sleeve just in case, but I don't think the centering is good enough. All right, so decent hit count for sure. Full art supporter. Couple above average alt arts, I would say. Got the stage one salt man into a Steelix. Yeah, Steelix pretty high up on my alt art chase list. Ooh, there's a Salamence, or is this a, this looks like an ancient Salamence. Probably like dragon tail something <laughs> something not so creative all right we got a two swords Wu Qian into a toxicity all right so we got we did go Terra so he did turn into fighting from hammer I mean, actually guy punk I can't really tell but hammer I'm guessing fighting type I do feel like the Terra implementation um, so like the EX, how kind of like there's a little zoomed in a little, like the art kind of goes beyond the borders. I do like, um, the alt, like the, the Terra when they, when they do change form kind of gives me Delta species vibes. And, um, so, and obviously the, this era is still pretty young. So I do hope that they do some really cool alt arts with that kind of, um, this whole idea of them being different types i feel like that's a lot of a lot of good potential trash a little fish to a some kind of skinny polar bear oh quick question what do people think about the classic collection i haven't ordered any and I'm not sure I will. If if I do see something at a pretty good price, I'll consider picking up one or two. But um, yeah, first I thought it was gonna be really cool, and I feel like I haven't heard much about it since. All right, we got a snail rock, a blitzel. Ooh, I feel like that could, if this was like art was extended, that has that's not bad. It's almost like art alt art level, Groudon. All right, kind of like last last quarter of the box. Uh, you know, I feel like as first first foray into this set, 
I'm pretty content with the results. Nothing too crazy. Uh, could have been better, but got to look at some cool cards. Got some better than average alt arts, I would say. None of the ones I was really hoping for. But I feel like that's kind of par for the course when you first start into this new set or into a new set. It's like Mickey Mouse. A Lokix into a cough, the sarcophagus Pokemon, like the mummy. Mummy guy. All right, I'm not sure about the hit count, but I think we're closing in on double digits. All right, two packs remaining. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, easiest way is to like and subscribe. And shout out to all the patrons out there that uh, also support me in additional ways. Flamingo. It's literally Flamingo. <laughs> oh, Flamigo. <laughs> Flamingo. Can't have that. A Zacian. Zacian Zamazenta. Um, I'm wondering if their popularity will ever go up. They were kind of cool. Uh, but at least on the TCG side, they just just did so many reprints and it's like the gold form and then this other form and then um, so I feel like the TCG didn't really do them justice but also I'm curious if they kind of um, will raise and rise in popularity I'm not optimistic but it'd be interesting to see I think I feel like they do have some potential Found sweets into a Norman Zatu. All right, let's get one more hit. Let's get one more textured card. Nice alt art. Grim Ghoul. This guy's. Oh, there's like another one. Ooh, okay. This one's. This one's. Um, I'll give it this one eight out of ten as far as alt arts go. Like man, team. Oh man, Tyke. Nothing too special of a Pokemon, but you know, looks like this guy's like in a submarine to look at him, and there he is. Oh my gosh, look at that centering. Come on. It's bad. It's terrible. Oh, there's a Zekrom in this. I don't think there's an Altar Zekrom. Let's take a look at the back. Hmm. This is very frustrating where I feel like the back centering does not align with the front. It's like. Is it even possible to get a 10? All right, three packs remaining. Let's get one more. I feel like my uh, wish list is pretty lengthy of ones I would like to get. Oh, there's like a gold. I'm not familiar with all the new Pokemon. Gold something, which the alt art was... It stood out to me because it was just weird. <laughs> All right, two packs. It seems like we've abandoned the whole different code card thing. A wiggle, oh, the tentacle, give me the tentacle. Ah, oh. want the Aldar tentacle. That thing looks like an alien invasion. It reminds me of, like miniature stuff from uh, War of the Worlds kind of thing. All right, last pack. I would say average box thus far. Uh, but it, oh, we did get a gold card of the shiny Garchomp. So happy with this. Um, yeah, this whole, sh they're, they're, they're just combining it. There's a gold, there's a shiny, shiny gold. <laughs> oh, I won't complain. All right, that's, that's nice, nice way to end the opening. And actually this centering looks pretty good. So we got a, definitely a good hit. Um, I know I, I feel like I'm not into this thing this whole this whole kind of rarity uh, But we'll definitely take it So that was a that was a great way to end the box and let's just take a quick count as far as hits All right that I'll, I'll say that puts it above average uh, but definitely um, still some some gas to be had one two three four four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so just a hair over double digits i'll take it and um yeah as always guys thanks for watching i'm wanted turtle I'll catch y'all next time peace